hello everyone and welcome back to my channel as we all know this au portal is uh, live for admission 2022 for admission of 2022 and here is an information bulletin now uh, you all know that the last date for the submission of application is till 25th of july 2022 and before that i hope you all will register or uh, before sign in you have to register to the course okay so i have already done this process and uh this it will come after you have registered and so many people had doubt regarding this uh high fee category so the thing is uh, the once you have selected for unreserved category like the, there will be option if you are like supposed obc then you can directly go for any of this but if you are belonging to unreserved category and you have a certificate like you have a certificate of ews then you can also select uh, like you have uh, select those option where which is there you know this one you if you have a certificate you can go for yes if you don't have then go for no so you can also now let's keep it simple and now uh, here are some quotas available here okay and so many of you had doubt regarding this uh, high fee category this is a quota which is available for all of the students the thing is if you are and if your parents are working as an au employee they can avail this quota okay and if your parents are working as an extension assistant they can avail if your parents are in defense personnel they can avail you, that st uh, students can avail this but for this high fee category this you know anybody can avail this quota if they want to study if they want to study further by giving higher amount of fees like suppose what is this quota is in assam agriculture university the students who are just not selecting for this quota will study with a fees amount of rupees 13000 per uh, semester suppose but high fee means this is a secure seat uh, you know secure uh, seat for some like 30 students of northeast and 30 students for all over india now the seats have increased before we used to have only 30 uh, seats for all over india as well as for northeast but now the seats uh, amount have been increased like for 30 students of northeast and for 30 students of all over india they can go for this quota but the thing is the fees amount they have to pay will be more more than the regular uh, students are paying for so this is what was all about high fee and i guess you should if you are not sure about your percentage if you are not sure about uh, like how your common entrance will be then i guess you should go for this quota because even if you get a good rank then afterwards you can say that you don't want to avail this quota and you can study in a regular uh, regular uh, way but if you don't get good marks and if you are not able to study in a regular uh, way then you have you had an you will have an opportunity to go for high fee also so let's proceed so after you will be selecting for that you can just go it's like uh you shall be asked to provide your choice for examination center later in this portal the portal shall be open for separate time frame if candidate finally submit the application fee and the application fee will be like rupees 1000 per person now uh, pay the registration fees by uh, you know proceeding to proceeding to pay button and after paying the registration fee you can fill in the online application form 
the online application form can be served and reopened till your final submission and once now now let's see what it will be i am not like i'm not paying 1000 so i don't know after this what will be the process i hope you guys uh, carry on with it but yeah for this you can pay by there is no upi there is no upi option available i guess yeah you can only pay through sbi portal net banking or debit cards okay but yeah uh, every student by now should have an sbi account uh, i guess if you are a 12 pass student it's very important to have an sbi account uh, you can see why i'm saying it here itself now okay hope you can uh, so this will be what pay payment status is failure okay but it's okay uh go back to the dashboard activity logs so here it will be so hope you all have understood what i was supposed to say you but the thing is uh if you see this information bulletin here you know uh let's discuss some of the points okay this is the information bulletin and as you can see here the we'll see this online application started from yesterday that was 1 of july now last date is 25 of july and uh, you can see the date of common interest test will be given notified you know it will be notified separately so i'll make a video as soon as the dates will be released now the thing is uh, the results will be declared very soon by 15th of august i don't know how much it is true but i guess by you know by 25 in between 25 july to 15 august you will be having the in between the 25 july and 15 august you will be having your exams in between these dates now uh, rest you can all read but i'll just show you the amount of seats that have been increased this year so see here so the amount of seat for college of agriculture the thing is the college of for college of agriculture the college of agriculture it will it was around 135 last year but to, uh, this year it's around 130 uh, you know 182 it's like around 182 182 and see here 10 as well as 30 so what are these 10 seats is this additional 30 seats mm -hmm. are reserved for high fee category from all over the India okay this is for all over India and again additional 30 seats are for high fee categories hailing from Assam state so you can see you have if you are from Assam state there is a reservation for you to study in Assam Agricultural University and there are additional 30 seats increased but the thing is you have to pay you have to pay you know more than the regular students so you have to pay more in this high fee category thank you I hope uh, you guys will have no further problems but if you have any problem you can feel free to comment down below that's all thank you and have a nice day bye bye